everybody it's time for oil change day here in the old square body not really um, a topic we go into too much uh, on our channel at all normally we're all just cosmetic stuff but as far as mechanical things I thought I would ask you guys a question that's kind of the point for this video um, there's some people that like the square body I like it a lot some people hate the setup that I chose for it that's fine it'll have a different one on there eventually maybe you'll like it uh, but if you're looking for 15s or 16s and 37s it probably ain't happening unless someone just gives me a set to put on there anyways that's just not my style but back to the oil change sorry i get distracted pretty easy on these um old square bodies this has a um the stock 350 in it it's a four speed truck uh four wheel drive it's a it's a good truck enjoy driving it around but as far as um oil weights and viscosities and stuff like that is concerned what do you run in your truck i've always kind of been um I don't want to say like simple enough where it's just like oil is oil because I know there is certain viscosities you want to run and don't run at certain times. But uh, for for this truck, I'm going to run some, some full synthetic stuff. Uh, I'll show it to you guys what I ended up going with. And then let me know what you run in your guys' trucks and how long you run them. Um, I'm not super concerned with intervals on this truck. I mean, this truck doesn't get driven a ton. But I am driving it quite a bit right now, so I thought a fresh oil change would be a good thing for it. Uh, anyways, I want to get that done and, uh, you know, just kind of show you guys the simple process and mainly get some feedback on what you guys run in your um, old V8 trucks. So, or if you run the same thing in your new stuff, I don't know. So let me know and uh, we'll take you along on this trip. All right, like any oil change, get yourself your drain bucket, uh, grab your oil that you're going to use. Part of this uh, process with this truck is uh, it has been it goes through a little bit of uh, a little bit of coolant. So my reservoir down there was not all the way dry, but fairly low. And you know it's an old engine. It it's not like some glorified super nice engine in an old truck like this. I mean you look under here and you got oily seepy stuff. Let me go around the other side real quick. And that's just the way it's going to be with, with an old truck. It's just going to seep oil unless you rebuild it. I'm not really into that. Keep oil in it. Take good care of it. It's going to do the job. Also, why I'm not super particular about what oil I'm putting in here. We had one of these trucks. Uh, I don't know what year it was. It was just an old four-speed square body that we used on a farm. And I tried to break that truck. I was I ran over trees in that truck. I pushed cows around in that truck. I mean, beat the tar out of it and never could have an issue. Engine starts ticking a little bit, grab whatever oil is laying around. I don't care what it is. And you stick it in there, it's gonna calm right back down and run just fine. So that's kind of my theory. I've had these trucks around, put all kinds of different oil in them and never had an issue. So that being said, I went down to our old shop, found this oil in there and that's why I'm using it. I didn't go buy any specific oil for this. I just had this around. So I'm putting some 530 weight in it. Uh, full synthetic, I'm not brand particular, anything like that. Uh, just those things have never really made a difference. Um, in this case, having good, a good lubricant's a good lubricant. So if I'm wrong, please just, just let me know. But that's what I'm gonna use on this truck. And um, it's a pretty simple process, so I'm not gonna bore you with it. Like I said, this is mainly just to kind of see what you guys are running and if you have had better success running other types of oil and and by success not just oh it makes me feel good that i can run the most expensive oil or that i can run this or that i want like actual results i mean if, if your engine hasn't blown up or you haven't had to replace lifters or you know depending what truck you're driving it just unless there's a valid reason then don't comment anyways <laughs> that's just what i wanted to say so let me know if there's something that's proven
All right, time for the startup. See if the old girl blows up. Oh uh, yeah. It's been running, uh, I don't know, a minute or two, a couple minutes maybe. Time to check and see where our oil is at. Uh, before that, this is kind of what it looked like. Obviously, you know what dirty oil is like. Maybe I can show on the side of the bucket there. It wasn't terrible, but um, I'm assuming that uh, could be getting a little bit of that coolant in the oil because the oil's never been low. Not that it was like way over full, but it was full for as much oil as you see kind of leak out of this thing, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's just burning it, but but anyway, the coolant was low for some reason. I mentioned that. Um, that was about 3,000 miles on this oil change. I don't know how long I'm gonna run this next one. Maybe about the same, but let's uh, see how it looks. This off and clean it, I'll be right back. Oil level check good, looks great. Uh, five quarts-ish. Um, beyond that, that's basically all I have to show you, we're going to see how this oil works out for this vehicle and uh, drive it some and we'll see um, how I like it. I've not, not ran synthetic in this before or this weight of oil before, but anyways, this is what it is. Um, I hope some things are about to change on this truck. Um, not that I mind the wheels and tires that are on it, but I'm pretty sure with not rubbing what I can fit on here. So I think I can go with a 16 wide and a 35. And then I have adapters running to these wheels because they're 8x180 lug. If I got rid of those adapters, it'd probably be about the same stance. And then going on a bigger tire is what I'm thinking. I took my rear tire off. I'm going to use kind of something that's back here to build a, a mount for hopefully some train horns that will be coming soon. And then one more thing that will be coming in an update video on this truck is I still have the old school headlights in it, the old halogen ones. Um, I bought some cheapos off eBay that I'm going to put in here and just to kind of give it, you know, the full LED look and they're cheap enough where if I don't like them, it's not the end of the world. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, beyond that, I don't know what else I'm going to do to this thing, but that's kind of what's going to get started. The different wheels and tires will be a nice touch. Train horns will be a nice touch. Um, maybe a nice drop hitch or something like that. Just for looks, obviously. I don't tow much with this thing. Just small trailers every once in a bit. But uh, normally I've got other vehicles to do that with. But until then, we're going to leave you at it. Uh, hope you like the video. Like, comment, subscribe.